Hello, and thanks for taking time to watch this presentation. The purpose of today's briefing is to discuss your career as an Army civilian, how the Army supported careers in the past, how it's supporting them now, and what the Army plans for the future. In the following slides, we'll discuss your career as an Army civilian and the tools available to help you manage your career now and in the future. We hope at the end of this briefing, you'll be more aware of the various new ways the Army is supporting your career development. This briefing is about your career as an Army civilian, how you can manage your career, and how the Army will support you. You may relate to one of our three characters here. You may even relate to more than one of them. We'll discuss John, Jane, and Fred more in the next slide, but you can see they are all at different points in their career. They'll be our guides throughout the briefing, providing insight into things they, and you, can do to manage their careers. Let's get to know these folks better. John is a new Army civilian and is looking forward to finding out more about the opportunities available to him. Jane retired from the military and loves the Army, but wanted to stop relocating every few years. Stability is very important to her, but so is professional development. Fred has served as an Army civilian for many years and now manages a number of employees. Fred is interested in both his own career management as well as how he can support his employees in their careers. These are our civilians who will show us the tools available to each of you in managing your careers. Here you can see the past and present with regard to Army civilian career management. Throughout this briefing, we'll discuss each component of the present and the tools available for your career development. In the past, most Army civilians were unaware of their career program. Now, 100% of civilians are mapped and are aware of their career programs. In the past, your personnel data was located on a paper-based OPF. Now, the CRB provides a comprehensive online record of all your training, experience, awards, and education. Previously, the opportunities for civilian development were not fully understood and or not well advertised. Development opportunities were limited. With career maps and ACTEDS, plans for each career program, development opportunities are clearly defined. There's also a number of resources for development available on the ACT landing pages for each career program. In the past, Paper Training Requests, SF-182, created a tedious process for civilians to request training. Now, online training requests create an easier and more efficient process, further increasing your ability to request training and education. Previously, KSAs were used instead of competencies. Currently, the Army is conducting an exercise using the Competency Management System, or CMS, to create a library of competencies for each occupational series within each career program. The past and the present are all born of the Civilian Workforce Transformation, or CWT, initiative, which I will now explain further. Civilian Workforce Transformation is a set of initiatives and strategies designed to develop a flexible and adaptive workforce capable of supporting the Army of 2020. CWT is addressing a range of challenges with improving the capability of the civilian workforce from requirements, determination, to hiring reform. Here you can see the numerous things accomplished through the CWT over the past three years. There are many other initiatives taking place, which we will discuss in this briefing, but you can see there is a lot of work that has been done by Army leadership in support of changing the way the Army supports its career development. Yet, there is still more to do. The above boxes indicate several of the CWT initiatives currently underway with expected completion by FY16. This is certainly not an exhaustive list, but the major initiatives support the CWT effort that are in process right now. As you saw from the slide before, the Army has invested a significant amount of effort into creating a set of tools designed to help you manage your career. We will spend the majority of the remaining time discussing these tools, so let's get started. As Jane says, what does all this mean to you? How do you take advantage of the current opportunities available for your career management? In the following slides, we'll discuss the various tools available to you, the Army civilian, to help you manage your career. The toolbox is your key throughout, noting when we're discussing a new tool. Do you know what career program you're in? 
The career program provides the Army with a better way to manage training and development opportunities based on job function. In 2008, there were 23 career programs. There are now 31 career programs. The newest eight are highlighted here. Within each career program, there may be multiple occupational series, but everyone in the career program supports a similar mission or function. Career program leadership developed career maps for each occupational series as a portion of their career program's ACTEDS plan, which we'll discuss in just a minute. The first place to go to determine your career program, if you don't already know it, is your civilian record brief, which we'll discuss next. The one-page civilian record brief, or CRB, provides a snapshot of an employee's official data pulled from the Defense Civilian Personnel Data System. By consolidating data onto a single page, you're able to easily review your personnel data, ensuring the official database information is accurate and complete. With regard to your career development, the CRB is one of the first places to start reviewing where you've been in order to evaluate where you want to be and what the next step is to get there. Your CRB can be found on the Civilian Personnel Online or CPOL system. Access the Employee Portal and click on the Employee tab. On the next page, click Go in the Employee Data section. You'll be taken to another page where the CRB can be found under the Self-Service app. Now that you know where you've been by reviewing your CRB, let's talk about where you can go in your career program by discussing the ACTEDS plan. Have you seen your career program's ACTEDS plan? The ACTEDS plan identifies the professional development assignments, training, and education opportunities available to you within your career program. This career management guide, created by your career program leadership, is based on your occupational and career program competencies, which we'll discuss later. Your ACTEDS plan can be accessed from the ACTEDS plan page in CPOL or from your career program landing page in ACT. The ACTEDS plan is the guiding document for the information found in Army Career Tracker, or ACT, which is the next tool we'll discuss. Army Career Tracker, or ACT, is a comprehensive online tool enabling access to much of your career program information, including training and education. Through your career program landing page in ACT, you can find news, training, and development opportunities posted by your career program leadership, as well as your career map, and your Individual Development Plan, or IDP. As I mentioned, the information in ACT is all guided by the Career Program ACTEDS plan. Let's review a Career Program landing page and briefly discuss how to navigate it. Your Career Program landing page provides a wealth of resources for your career development. There are links to key resources such as ACTEDS plans, training courses, your IDP, information about your Career Program leadership, and up-to-date news. Have you accessed your career program landing page in ACT? One of the key resources in ACT is your career map, which we'll discuss next. Career maps define education, training, and development opportunities and are available for all career programs. While their format may look different from career program to career program, career maps provide a great deal of information, including how to move forward within a career program. As of FY12, there were 488 GS career maps for 31 career programs. The Army is currently developing wage system career maps as well. As wage system career maps are complete, they'll be uploaded and available in ACT. If you are interested in changing career programs, the career map is a great tool. You can use it to create a training and development plan to help you develop and become a better fit for the career program you're interested in moving to. Career maps are also a useful place to start when developing your IDP, which we'll discuss next. Your Individual Development Plan, or IDP, can be created with the online template in ACT and is found under the My IDP tab. Your IDP is created by you and contains a host of information regarding where you currently are in your career, your CRB is helpful in providing background, and where you want to be with regard to career goals and performance objectives. Reviewing and discussing your IDP with your supervisor is important in determining how you will achieve your goals and objectives and what tools you'll need in terms of training, education, and experience to further develop. Questions for you. Do you have an IDP? Have you reviewed your IDP with your supervisor within the last year? 
Do you have your IDP loaded into ACT? Once you've discussed your IDP with your supervisor and identified the training, education, and experience opportunities you want to take advantage of, what do you do next? After identifying the training, education, and experience opportunities you want to take advantage of for your individual development, you can use CHARTAs in ATARS to identify Army training opportunities. Once you've identified the training you would like to take, contact your career program manager to determine your eligibility and what assistance is available in applying. Approval by your supervisor and functional chief representative is generally part of the application process, so involving your career program manager from the beginning is important. In FY14, GoArmyEd.com will replace RAS and be available to Army civilians, providing a comprehensive online tool to request training and education. Education opportunities can also be found via the Civilian Education System, or CES, which we'll discuss on the next slide. While familiar to many of you, the Civilian Education System, or CES, is the Army Leader Development Program that provides GS and NAF leader development training specific to grade level. The CES Parent School, the Army Management Staff College, has moved from Fort Belvoir to the Combined Arms Center at Fort Leavenworth. TRADOC CAC is currently redesigning CES to better support Army civilians. More information about the CES redesign will be announced in the coming months. In addition to CES, there are a number of leadership development opportunities listed here. Your career program manager can provide more information regarding what is available to you. For GS-14s and 15s and equivalents, the Civilian Senior Leader Management Office, CLISMO, has established the Senior Enterprise Talent Management Program to provide additional leadership training to select Army civilians. Let's discuss CEDAM now. Have you heard of the Senior Enterprise Talent Management Program, or CEDAM? CEDAM was created to identify potential civilian leaders, develop their enterprise-wide perspective, and provide opportunities for them to obtain joint credentials and broadening opportunities. The program is structured around competencies and available to GS-14s and 15s and equivalents as an additional opportunity for leadership development through education and experience opportunities. The success of CEDAM relies heavily on the involvement of leaders at all levels. These and other developmental initiatives demonstrate the Army's commitment to preparing civilians for increased leadership responsibilities in the future. CEDAM, as designed today, consists of four programs outlined in a policy directive from the Secretary of the Army. CEDAM TDY are project-based temporary duty assignments not to exceed 179 days, which allow participants to strengthen competencies and leadership abilities in support of the Army's most critical needs. These centrally funded developmental assignments are intended to challenge and broaden employees and can typically be used to backfill someone going to senior service school or temporarily fill a critical vacancy that an installation needs to accomplish a significant project. Professional military education applicants compete for Army civilian seats at the Army War College resident and the Dwight D. Eisenhower School for National Security and Resource Strategy, also known as the Eisenhower School acquisition or non-acquisition course. The Defense Senior Leader Development Program is a two-year educational and developmental assignment. Participants receive an enterprise-wide perspective needed to lead programs in the joint, interagency, and multinational environments. DSLDP includes attendance at another component's senior service college or the National Defense University. Army Enterprise Placement Program, or EPP selected applicants, will be centrally managed in a program that makes them eligible for positions where the Army needs talented civilian leaders designated as Army Enterprise positions. This program is only available to GS-15s. All program components except CEDAM TDY and the Army War College non-resident require mobility and continuation of service agreements as conditions of participation. EPP does not require a mobility agreement until an assignment is accepted. All nominations are required to be endorsed by the chain of command and the functional career representative. We've discussed a number of tools available to GS Army civilians. The next slides talk about which of these are available to wage system employees and which are still pending. While all of the tools discussed today are available for GS employees, a few are still being customized for our wage system employees. 
Career maps and master training plans for some of our wage system employees are currently being developed by career program managers on a test basis. The plan is for both items to be made available to all WS employees starting in FY14. As the career maps are completed, career program managers will integrate them into ACT and the ACTEDS plans. All of the other tools we discussed, the CRB, the ACT, IDPs, are currently available for wage system employees. So what's next? A lot of the tools we reviewed are likely new to you. As John, Jane, and Fred point out, no matter where you are in your career or what you consider to be your next step, all of the tools and information provided to you can be used in your career development. In addition to your chain of command, your career program manager is a key resource for advice and assistance for questions regarding training, education, and experience opportunities available to you. As you can see, John, Jane, and Fred learned a lot today, and we hope you did as well. Whether it's planning your career path from the beginning, like John, further developing your competencies in your current position, like Jane, or determining the best leadership training to better support yourself and your employees like Fred, the tools we discussed today will help you develop as an Army civilian. Let's discuss your homework, which will further familiarize you with the tools. This is your homework or takeaway from today's briefing. Using these websites, you can review your civilian record brief in CPOL to confirm your career program. Also, review your position description and SF-50 in CPOL. You can review your career program, ACTED's plan, and you can log into Army Career Tracker and explore your training and development options listed on your career program landing page. You can also identify your supervisor in ACT and work with him or her to complete your individual development plan, and you can access the CLISMO site for information regarding CEDAM. We hope you found today's presentation informative. If you have any questions, contact your career program manager.